everyone. Um, welcome. How are you, Laura? Great, great. A little hectic. We got lots of changes happening here at Worcester Central, but um, yeah. <laughs> I like change. Change is good. Change is good. Yes. And thank you for that, Delora, for filling in. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate where, it. Christine wants to know, where's the screaming goat? The that would be me. Goat. That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Laura. That was really good. That was good for you, girl. That was good. See, you never know. It's always like the the shy ones that come up with a ba -da -ba. <laughs> Not shy, but I mean, you never. That was good, Laura. I mean, that was really good. <laughs> Good. Um, so I'm going to just share with everybody what we do here is we do card pulls. We have a lot of laughter. We have card pulls and we'll give you an intuitive message for the week. And we're here every Monday at this time, whether you're 9 a.m. Pacific or 12 noon Eastern or if you're 11 o'clock Central. So just come and join us. Please tell your friends. And do us a favor, like and follow both of our YouTube pages, which would be great. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Um, so today I'm using Denise Lynn's Sacred Destiny Oracle deck. Normally I use the Sacred Forest, but today we're using the Sacred Destiny. And the card that I have to pull, which is interesting, is relaxation. Relaxation. Are you taking time out for you? Are you taking time out for you? You know, I think what happens is that um, we we look at our lives and I got to do this. I got to do this. Monday's here and like, go, 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 go. Do we take that time to rest? Do we take the time to, even if it's five minutes, guys, just don't even look at your phone for five minutes. Between the um, time of 9 and 9.30, please do look at your phone on YouTube um, or 12 to 12.30 Eastern time. Please look at us on Mondays. But when it's time to, or maybe this is your relaxation time. Maybe this is how you chill out with us. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that you relax. Very good. Go. And this morning, I, I am pulling from the Psychic Tarot. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, that's, the, that's my go-to deck, as a lot of people who've been watching know that. And the card I pulled was the Movement Choices and Decisions card, which is a good segue off of yours. Because um, this is a reminder that, um, you know, that things are going to get busy in the next week or so, which is, in my case, very true. And um, also, you have the ability to juggle all these things. You just have to prioritize. So that's a mm -hmm. reminder of that. And also to sort of segue off of what the card you have for relaxation, don't add more to what you've already got in your plate. So, <laughs> you got it, right? So um, this is a reminder. If you already have a lot on, don't take on any more for the next week or so. Okay. That's an important thing. But just know you have the ability to juggle everything you've got to get done this week, but just take it one day at a time. What's the first thing you've got to do? right now in front of you and we're and focus on that and don't worry about anything else you'll get to that so a lot of times when we really focus on the whole picture of everything that needs to get done it can get really overwhelming right? and people sometimes shut down and they go oh they go into like procrastination mode or they 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 panic or whatever it may be and um end up doing whatever that other than what they need to do but just focus on one thing that you need to get done today and then move forward do you do a to-do list laura I do. I do. And I always have, I have a, my list typically has at least a dozen things on it every day, but then I always go the night before I go, okay, what's the three things I must get completed tomorrow. And then if bonus, if the rest get done, then they get moved over to the next day. Right. So, yeah. So I always focus on three. Yeah. I do the same thing. I, mm -hmm. I write my list. And even if it's like, sometimes there's like, call this one, call this one, it's all the calls. So what I'll do is I'll circle calls, get those done and out of the way. And then I'm like, oh my God, you made six phone calls in 25 minutes and that's all done. That's half your list. So yeah. I like to write a list, especially Sunday night or Monday morning, because that way it's the whole week. And I think of like, what do I have to do? And then I get really excited when Monday or Tuesday and it's all done. And yeah. I'm like, wow, that was pretty good. So challenge yourself, guys. Really challenge yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing. Um, 
we said we were going to pick somebody today to bring him on and give him a little mini reading. Yeah. Should we, or should we do it later? Um, let's do it. Let's go okay. for it. All right. I'm going to scroll. And guys, if you um, if you just want your voice on, you can just have your voice on. You don't have to have the camera. Okay. I'm going to scroll and I'm going to stop. All right. Christine, do you want to be on live with us? Would you like to be on live? Up to you. Let's see. What it says. Let's see. Meanwhile, I'll pull a quick card just for fun. Just sure. A sure. <laughs> um, few seconds delay on this. I'm going to give you, I think I could do it in here. I think I could do it on here. Nope, that's not it. Okay, please hold callers. Um, and then we'll just um, copy that. That's good. All right, so this is for Christine only, everyone. Don't get all excited, just for Christine. Okay, Christine, just follow that link. Follow that link, and then you'll come on. Um, meanwhile, while we're waiting, does anybody have a question? Yeah. Not like, oh, I like a card, but like a a specific question for your for you guys. Yeah. I mean, it can even just be, it doesn't have to even be a reading. It could be something that you have a question about. Maybe you're in, yourself or is, or is in some kind of intuitive development or psychic development, mediumship development, anything like that. Uh, do you have a question about that? Do you have a question about the process? Uh, maybe there's something that you're struggling with or challenged by. Let us know what that might be. And maybe we can help you with that. So. And you had uh, a, an introduction to mediumship class this week, past week. I did. Weekend. How I did. did that go? Oh, it was wonderful. It was so much fun. Great people. I, I love the people that were on the class and, and as students. And I really do hope that they they stick with and keep keep um, going forward with that because they were wonderful. Wonderful Great. questions. Very, very enthusiastic and very inquisitive about the whole process. So it was really, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Good. I had a couple of people, they're like, oh my God, we're so nervous that we had to do a breakout. Was... <laughs> they did. Yeah. I yeah. think they all did phenomenal. So. Right. Excellent. Right. Excellent. And here's Christine with her glasses on, uh, or glasses off. Okay. <laughs> hey, oh, one <laughs> second. Hi, Christine. Hi. So good Hi. to see you in person. Good to see you guys. Good How are you doing? You. Good. Good. I, I just got some really exciting news. Can you guys guess what it is? Um... Well, I don't think you're pregnant, but uh, <laughs> but am I hearing a baby? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna be a grandma again. Yay! Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling because I saw a little blanket. And I was like, "Oh, what's that?" <laughs> yeah. And I heard a baby crying, so I was like. Yeah. Okay, is she pregnant? I don't think so, but okay. <laughs> there was a little one coming in. Oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Congratulations. Isn't that the best feeling being a grandma? It is. It yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. I know do you I have know. an do you have another question for us? Um you know, you caught me off guard. I, I yeah. think I'm I'm good today, but um just studying spiritual development. Um, um I don't I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> So how about this? This is just a little bit of advice on that and that thing. I want you to move past, if you can, um, move past the doubt or when you get something wrong, don't, don't be like, bad, Christine. I want you to move through that and say, all right, okay, what's another way that I could get a message? Um, this way didn't work. Can you show me a different way? and see if that resonates for you. I just don't want you to like, that perfectionist piece um, to just um, give it give it a little TLC. Just be like, all right, yeah. so I didn't pick this, the color that was in the bag, you know, or whatever psychic stuff you wanted to do or, or mediumship. If it's a little off, it's okay. These are growing stages. And, you know, yesterday um, I did a, an um an event at a at a bookstore and i'm doing a demonstration and i'm bringing in um spirit and i was like and the blah 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 and i'm telling all about this person crickets crickets and in my head i'm like oh crap we have like, 
10 new people and I'm sitting here giving a demo and I'm like, uh, oops. And, and I say, well, can you, if I adjust the meaning for this, not trying to make it fit, but here's another symbol, which would mean a new symbol for me, but this is what I'm hearing. The woman's like, oh, I think that's my mother. And I'm in my head. I'm like, thank God, <laughs> you know, it but it, it's, it's about what else can you show me? Does that make sense for you? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Laura, and, how about you? And, and just as a segue, a perfect segue as well, um, Christine, I was pulling cards for you. So two cards I pulled, the wisdom card, which is learning education, all those things. And base talk, but this means you have, a, you already have a strong foundation in a spiritual development, spiritual studies. You've got a good foundation. All right. So trust in what you've already learned, trust in what you've gone forward with. This to me, when I see this card come, come up with this card, it means to me, it's time to possibly look for another teacher that you might be needing to expand upon what you've already learned. So are you feeling the need to, to maybe learn other things or reach out to other teachers now? Yes, yes. Um, I found somebody that teaches uh, a Reiki, so coming up in June. So I think I'm going to do that. Do okay, that. good. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. That's a great, a great um, thing to, to focus on because it really does, like uh, Elias and I both are big fans of studying energy work. Um, when you're doing um, any kind of spiritual development, because it gets you, it gives you a chance to really sense your own energy and also understand other people's energy and, and how to interpret that. Exactly. The more I meditate every day, I um, like emotions come up and um, I can feel the energy and I'm, I'm, it, I'm expanding. And I even had a moment where I touched like a blanket and it, it sent me back in time to when I first got that blanket in my old house. It was very strange. I never had wow. anything happen like that before. So I'm opening up and I'm noticing it and I'm following the signs and synchronicities. Yeah. And it's, it's really cool. It <laughs> is very cool. Small, oh, that's steps, small steps, like John says. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. please keep us posted, Christine. Okay. We'd love to hear it. Love to hear it. And congratulations again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Baby and taking the, the, Reiki, the Reiki class. Fantastic. Yes. Yep. Yep. Great. Well, thank you. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> Um, so a few questions. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I noticed. I'd love some reference of sound healing. Been doing that and want to go more in depth. Are you looking to experience more sound healing? Or are you looking to do sound healing for others? Those are two different things. So let's let's see what Maria says, and we'll go from there. Um, yeah. Is there is there somebody that you go to for sound healing? Um, I don't, um, I do sound healing. So, um, but oh, I, do it, I do it, um, Chilean based. So a little bit different, a little bit different. Yeah. Um, looking for Maria. We'll wait. Oh, do she wants to do sound healing. Okay. Um, someone you may want to connect with is Ashana. Now she does the crystal bowls, beautiful crystal bowls. I don't know if she's doing training right now, but she may be able to either hook you up with crystal bowls if you're looking to do that type of um that type of work or someone she could, you know, maybe um recommend for you. But she's a she's a wonderful, wonderful sound healer and, and a singer. She's a musician. Um, I don't know if you're looking to look at crystal bowls or anything like that. Um but we'll see what she says because it's all different types of sound healing, all different types. Um, Laura so wants to know: Have either of you ever been mooned? Once <laughs> you connected during mediumship, moved or moon? <laughs> moon, moon. Are you talking about the people we're reading for, or the people on the other side? <laughs> That's two different things. <laughs> um, Let's see. I'm assuming she's saying the other side. Okay. Yes. No, I haven't. Have you, Elias? Moved or mo moved? <laughs> I've had inappropriate things happen from the other side, but not like that. But I'll I'll, I'll share one with you once we know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, let's gosh. let's look. Um, I know more. Now more on the sound with tones. You know, I don't know. That's a really good. Really good question. We'll have to do some research on that. Someone who's work works with tones. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, I've never been mooned um, <laughs> from 
<laughs> from someone from the other side. Um, yeah. I, you know, I've had things happen and, and I have to pause and wonder if it's appropriate, appropriate for me to share it or not, because I'm like, I don't normally talk like this, but I've got to say this, you know, um, they can be naughty. I mean, if they were naughty here, they're going to bring that across as evidence on the other side. If someone was you know, swore, you know, swore like a sailor, I'm, right. you know, sometimes the words almost slip out of my mouth because I don't typically swear during, during <laughs> readings. Um, but I will say, you know, sometimes it almost comes out of, and I say, oh, do you understand that they could be very, um, they could use a lot of choice words <laughs> and yes. they'd be like, oh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so oh, the sorry. other I thing too, like I'll, t I'll share a funny story. So, cause this is when I was like pausing, do I sh share this? I don't know. Cause I was, remember, I was, remember I was in the reading and I saw the person on the other side, I think it was someone's mother showed me this dog that, that was on the other side, this little tiny like lap dog. And, um, and I, I'm, she's showing me the dog and she show, and I'm seeing the dog on, and I'm connected. I said, like, you have a dog on the other side. Yes, I do. And, um, and a little dog I'm like, yes. And then I'm seeing this dog walking up to her mother's stone mm -hmm. and lifting their leg on it. And I'm like, I can't say that. That's so disrespectful. It's just awful. Right. And I can't, I can't, I said, I, I said, I'm going to tell you something, but just know it's not, I, I'm not making this up. It's coming from your dog. <laughs> and, and, and I told her and she just laughed and she goes, well, my mother hated that dog. <laughs> so, so it was very appropriate, <laughs> but it was like, we had a good laugh about it. And, um, you know, but it was, I have to really think twice before I say it. Cause I'm like, Oh, this sounds so disrespectful. <laughs> it's it's mm -hmm. just like when, you know, when I was in class and Laura was there and, um, assisting the class and um, John Holland and the late Janet No Havoc. And when I was doing the dem and I'm like, do I say fart? I mean, I mean, I've got the former nun behind me. I'm just like, I didn't want, but you know, it, it felt right. I was like, and did grandma like walk and fart at the same time? And I was like, oh and I felt like sweat coming down my body. Cause I'm like, you know, Greek guilt kicking in. I'm like, oh my God, the nun is staring at me. The nun is burning. Her eyes are burning. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the spirit has a really, that when they know that the energy needs to be lifted, like, you know, yeah. our connection to the spirit world is a frequency. We're tuning into a particular frequency, like a dial on the radio. And sometimes spirit is like, they, like Janet would often say, there's an intelligence to the spirit world. If they feel that they need to raise the frequency just a wee bit higher on the dial, They'll right. bring something funny through, you know, especially if they want their loved one to smile and, and have a good laugh and a, and a good memory. Sure. Yeah. And that's, and that's ex almost exactly what I said yesterday. I'm like, yeah, always humor comes in when I do some sort of reading. I don't know why there's been some serious ones as well, but usually there is, there's something that will, they will make us giggle or laugh the whole room. And it's, it's just fun. It's just yeah. fun. Yeah. Diana wants to know, do loved ones use music lyrics to communicate, um, they are with us. I heard the song that says, I saw the sign, I opened up my mind and saw the signs. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, they they do. Uh, they, they really do communicate through lyrics. So if a song keeps coming up and you hadn't heard it recently, um, sometimes when I hear, hear a song, like that'll be the next song I hear as soon as I get in my car and I start the car up and I put my radio on. A lot of times it's that first song that comes up or, and, um, but sometimes if I hear a song consistently, I'm like, okay, what are the words? Um, and, and listen to, listen to the lyrics, you know, with, and what the message is in that. The other day um, I kept hearing, I, I'm, I've never, this is, I'm gonna, you're going to think I'm really weird. I've never watched like a full episode of friends ever. Like I've just, yeah, you, you, uh, yeah. I was like, I've never been a, like, not that I wasn't a fan. I just never got into it. Yeah. But um, the other day I woke up and I woke up with the song in my head, the theme song from Friends. I'll be there for you. Right. Yeah. And it was just, and um, so I knew there was some kind of message. Someone was trying to tell me that they had my back. So I just like, okay, thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> it's And it's, and, and the funny thing is guys, when you, when you hear the song, also think like, what is who is the singer like is that a message too because you know sometimes sometimes i'll get like someone's like i don't know there was a skeptic it's like 
I don't know if this is happening. And I heard, you know, I'm on the top of the world looking down on creation. And I'm like, the carpenters, right? And, and he's like, my dad was a carpenter. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, so, that's yeah. wonderful. Um, I love that. Hi, Chris from Iowa. Good to see you. Um, yes, uh, Maria Pandora does tuning forks, Pandora Pappas. You also might want to talk to Jean Tyndall, T I N D L E. Remember, she's the one that does um, uh, uh, dan uh, spirit dancing crystals or spirit crystal. Yeah, spirit dancing crystals. Um, and Jean's done, obviously, Maria, the sound healing that when you came on the retreat and we did that Chilean one, she does that. She also does some other things. So you might want to talk to Jean as well. Um, Ren says, um, oh my God, that would be my grandmother referring to the walking and farting thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for healing. Yeah, yes. Thank you. Uh, YouTubers, please remember to like and subscribe to both Laura and myself. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, broken wings by Mr. Mr. When I need to expand spiritually. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That song for me was, um, uh, when I was first really opening up to spirit and like trying to embrace or recognize what was going on and try to understand it. The song um, Dante's prayer by Lorena McKennett. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Yeah. It just like, whew, just open me up. Um, and, and there's a whole other story behind that, but it just long story short, but, um, but that song Dante's prayer. Whoa. That's the song. Yeah. That's, that's my spiritual expansion song. And I saw her recently live and I just like, wept <laughs> when I heard that song. It was just, it's like my spirit song. Um, anyway, so let's see what else is going on here. Uh, let's see. Great, great, great. Looking at all the comments here. Wonderful. Great, great, great. Yeah, I, I don't, okay. Anything from Imagine Dragons for me. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, cool. That's awesome. It's really, isn't it wonderful how spirit can, um, spirit can uplift us through music and right. um, yeah, and keep, uh, keep us Keep us afloat. It's <laughs> awesome. Anybody have any other questions at all? Anybody want a reading? We'll pull. We have time for to pull another card. Yeah, for and anybody. think about it, guys. We talked about relaxation. Does music relax you? Mm -hmm. And maybe the music is the way that you can tune in. You never know. Every time, every time I hear um, um, Phil Collins' song. Um, from from Tarzan. Um, You'll be in my heart. That one is a hard one for me, but mm -hmm. that was the song that I heard when I was rushing to the hospital when they said, well, yeah, we're rushing to the hospital when they said, um, your mom, uh, you need to get here now. Uh -huh. and, and then when I left the hospital a little after midnight, that song was on again. So uh -huh. anytime I hear that, and it's interesting because it's about Tarzan adopted by the apes, right? So I was adopted. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it just it just was. Um, that song always does it for me. It always does. I can imagine. Um, that definitely would. Okay. Card readings are good. Uh, card would be wonderful if there's time. Should okay. we do just one more for everybody? How's that? Yeah, let's do one more for everybody because that if you, you're here. For you're here, it's not a, you know, it's synchronistic. If you're here, you're here for this, for this card. So, all right, so let me do my card. All right. And you know, music, yeah, um, Maria says, any music tunes me in. Music is another frequency, it's sound. So, and then spirit is, is a frequency as well. So yeah, absolutely. Music is a frequency, prayers are a frequency. You send prayers up to somebody or good intentions. That's, you know, that's, another, vibration or frequency mm. okay all right what you got elias well this one just flew right out um opportunity oh nice this is awesome guys take every opportunity that you can to seek what you need even if you like say well i you know opportunity knocked on the door and i heard a no well the no just means next opportunity everything happens for a reason, everything happens as an opportunity for you to do this route or this route. One way or another, you're going to get an answer. Might not be the answer that you think mm -hmm. you want, but it's always an answer that you will 
pardon me, need. So take mm -hmm. every opportunity that you can. I have intuition. <clears throat> so it's a reminder to always tune in. If, if you're, I mean, as you go about the week, if there's anything that doesn't sit right with you, whether you're hearing something at work or hearing something from family or in the news or whatever, something just, it feels like a square peg in a round hole and it just doesn't feel like it's sitting well in your solar plexus, <clears throat> tune into your intuition. What, look, feel in for the deeper picture. Like what is the real element of this story, this, whatever's being, sh information's being shared with you, get down to the, the core truth through your intuition. What, what feels right to you? What, what, it, what it really is happening here? So. Good one. Good one. Uh, I've always referenced my intuition as a radio station, just switching stations. Sometimes it can actually uh, be as good as yeah. eight. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Opportunity, invitation for growth, just like the rabbit at my foot yesterday. Yes. Very true. Oh, very she had a rabbit at her front door. That's wonderful. She had a rabbit at her front door. Very cool. Lovely. Oh, that's sweet. Do you have anything coming up, Laura? Any um, classes or anything coming up? Uh, nothing that's officially on the calendar yet, but if you're in New England, I will be at Circles of Wisdom with two friends of mine at uh, in Methuen. <laughs> Methuen, Massachusetts, which is it's just a couple of minutes from the New Hampshire border. So, um, and just north of Boston. So, um, yeah, Saturday afternoon, 2 p.m., an afternoon of mediumship and spirit art. So there'll be three mediums, and one of one of us is a spirit artist, Rita Berkowitz. She's lovely. Um, she does beautiful, beautiful spirit art. So she'll not only bring your people through, but she'll actually draw them as well. Fascinating. Fascinating. Yeah, people love it. People love seeing her do that work. And I, I love, I just, I get so drawn into what she's doing. I'm like, oh, now we're going to do a message. <laughs> Because <laughs> she's just, I can sit and watch her work all day. Um, so it's myself, Lori Sheridan, and Rita Berkowitz. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, Dolores says, I'll just go back to New England. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> that would be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so cool. If you ever get an opportunity to see um, a, a spirit artist, it, it's just. It really is. It's awesome. Really it's awesome, really awesome work. Fantastic. Awesome work. We are here, guys, every Monday every Monday. So um, again, please make sure that you like, follow, subscribe, share is good too. Um, and we appreciate it. We appreciate it. Um, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Thanks. Thanks for the laughter. And yeah, Delora, thanks, you, guys. thank you for the, um, the fill-in. I appreciate that. Thanks. So <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> we will see you next time, guys. And remember, Always trust your intuition. Be well, everybody. Take Have care. Have a good week, everyone. See you next week. <laughs>